السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ رسپیکٹڈ ویورز یو آر واچنگ یوٹیوب چینل ایور گرین نالج اینڈ آئی ایم ڈاکٹر عابد نواز رسپیکٹڈ ویورس وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ڈف تھانگس اینڈ ان مائی لاسٹ لیکچر آئی ٹولڈ دیٹ اکارڈنگ ٹو روش دیر آر ایٹ ڈف تھانگس وچ ہی divided in three groups and uh, <clears throat> I did talk about uh, the first uh, three uh, diphthongs in my last uh, lecture so let us uh, <clears throat> recontinue the lecture so before uh, continuing the lecture I would like to say that uh, you please uh, like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel so that uh, I'll be recording useful uh, videos for you and hope that you will like, share and subscribe and you will also press the bell icon so that uh, you will get my <coughs> coming videos inshallah. So now let us uh, Uh, continue our uh, lecture so the next one is the closing diphthongs have the characteristics that uh, the all end with a glide towards a close vowel because uh, the second part of the diphthongs is weak they don't reach a position that could be called close the important thing is that a glide from a relatively more than towards a relatively more close vowel is produced so three of the diphthongs glide towards i as described uh, For example, uh, A, the diphthong having the sound A, example words are like face, paid and pain. So all these uh, words having the uh, diphthong A in between the uh, sound. So the starting point is same as the E of the word men, M-E-N, men, or the word get, G-E-T, get. So the next one is, the number fifth is I, diphthong I. So today I'm talking uh, about the fourth onwards, okay, the fourth I have talked, now I am talking about the fifth one. Uh, fifth diphthong is I. So example words are, for example, nice, tied, time. So this, dif this diphthong begins with an open vowel, which is between front and back. It is quite similar to the a uh, sound of the words for example bun and cut so in these two words you can feel the sound a uh, bun cut so there is a uh, sound in these words so now the third uh, sixth one is sorry sixth one is uh a sound a uh, for example uh i sound for example the words are wise wise and wide and one more word is loin so there is i sound in these words and this sound is also diphthongal sound the first part of this diphthong has the same quality as I in born, the word born or the word ought. 
okay so this was the uh, sixth diphthongal sounds respected viewers two diphthongs glide towards o so that as the uh, as the tongue moves closer to the roof of the mouth there is at the same time rounding movement of the lips this uh, movement is not a large one again because the second part of the diphthong is weak so now uh, let me talk about the seventh uh, diphthongal sound so that is the ow ow song example is example words are for example most loud home most loud home the vowel position for the beginning of this is the same as for the schwa vowel a as found in the first syllable of the word about about so in the uh, sound of this word about the sound first sound is the schwa sound the lips may be slightly rounded in anticipation of the glide towards ow for which there is quite noticeable lip rounding so respected viewers this was the seventh diphthongal sound now let me talk about the last one which one which is the eighth one diphthongal sound it is the ow sound ow example words are house loud gown so this diphthong uh, begins with a vowel similar to a to a sound a since this is an open vowel a glide to a to ow ow would uh, necessitate a large movement large movement usually in english the glide towards ow begins but is not completed the end of the diphthong being somewhere between close and uh, close mid sorry close mid and uh, open mid in tongue height so there is only slight lip rounding so this was the last one eighth vowel uh, sorry eighth diphthongal sound so respected viewers uh, connor says uh, vowels are made by voiced air passing through different mouth shapes the differences in the shape of the mouth are caused by different positions of the tongue and of the lips he further says that english speakers vary quite a lot in their vowel sounds e sounds used by an australian e is the sound i am talking about here uh, 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 about the uh, sound not the letter e e sounds used by australian and american and and scot are all different but they are all recognized quite really so respected viewers english language does surely have many vowels the sounds of which are not very much different from those of the urdu vowels so inshallah in the next lecture we'll talk about uh, uh, the urdu and uh, uh, we'll talk about the similarities uh, between the english and urdu vowels so it's enough for today and i hope that uh, uh, you will like share and subscribe my uh, youtube channel and i'll be recording uh, such uh, beautiful and interesting and informative videos for you so let me leave till the next video if life and health permits i'll be with you with the next video soon inshallah till that time take care of yourself and of your beloveds may allah bless us all allah hafiz